What's this? Mutton? Aye. Uh, it's burnt and so is all the meat. What we've got is a story that's been created. The concept is that it's Shakespeare's last hour of his life. So we're going to travel inside his, his mind and his thoughts as he's remembering some of his favourite characters from the plays that he's written. So we'll get to experience some of the spooky, um, murderous villains that he wrote about and, um, and also just um, understand a bit more about some of the, the beautiful thoughts and imagery that he created in his plays. It's a fantastic opportunity for the Southland public to see a different type of Shakespeare. Um, we have, I guess, a, a, a vision, those of us that have been involved in the production this year, to create something quite different and using this space at Laserland means that we can utilise the resources um, uh, with lighting and with different sound and certainly creating um, a different set. The South and Public have seen Shakespeare out in nature and um, in different locations around um, Southland but I think this is going to be something quite unique. It's going to be a, a visual a visual extravaganza really. Um, certainly lots of bright um, costumes and the set is absolutely amazing. Um, the, the audience will walk through lots of different scenes. Um, so there'll be sounds, there'll be um, smells, there'll be lots of um, visual surprises for them really. Well, old Shakespeare and the Ducks, um it's, just, it's to come up with the environment that the actors are going to be in to help tell the story. So all the visuals, um, the spaces, tr transforming the spaces into something that's workable for the storyline which we've come up with. So um, making the storyline come to life. So I like the feasting room and I also like the beginning where Shakespeare, when he's in, in his room and he, he is dying, it's, it's great. It's, so for an audience you come straight in and it's good morning, here we go. You know, It's not what you expect. I'm um, involved with the feasting scene and I think that's a scene that most of the audience will relate quite well to. Um, it's a scene where uh, there's a lot of um, mayhem, a lot of noise um, and it's a, it, it's, it's a visual feast really, um, literally and, and figuratively and I just think that um, yeah, that one probably would be my highlight. There's a great team down here and that's why I came back because the, the, um, the cast and, and the people that are involved in this production, a, a, a beautiful spirit. And I just thought, I want to be part of that, and I want to help them make their dream come true. Ten years, ten years of Shakespeare in the park is a long time. Um, and they wanted to do something different. And I've got the, you know, I'm lucky in my job, that's what I do. I do big events and, and, and lighting and sets, and so I wanted to bring that down here and do it. We, we like to give them a little postcard, so maybe when they're driving, you know, somewhere to Queenstown about a week's time, that some, a little scene comes in their head. And when they can figure out, what was all that about? Or, you know, wow, that was really cool. What was, you know, I love that. So, so we, like, we like people to take away um, some of the dreams, maybe, you know. So it's not just walk through and see it now. It's actually, you know, it's embedded in the head. It'll come back and, and visit you later on.